Good morning, everybody. It has been quite the start to the weekend. Um, Omar got his wallet stolen last night, so a big F you to whoever stole his wallet. So we've been um, trying to replace everything. This morning, went to the DMV. It's, that's a long, complicated situation. And now we're going to Costco because we got to, of course, replace our Costco card. We don't want anybody using that. Um, no, but we also need gas and I wanted to get some frozen fruit um, And then after that who knows we'll probably just take the dogs to the dog park and See See what we end up doing no big plans uh, But yeah, my head's kind of everywhere right now with this Unexpected <laughs> turn of events um, I do need a coffee though came in to get a Lamar replacement Costco card and then somehow we ended up with toothbrushes, batteries, and who knows what, what else we'll find. Okay, we are back with the monsters. <laughs> We're gonna go take them, take them to the dog park. And I have these harnesses and a lot of people always ask me about them like when we're out and about. They're just from PetSmart. I think this is the, I wanna say this is the medium and then Cash has the large. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna drive to the dog park? Look at this um, car. So this actually happened when I was driving it, when I was like 16, which is a long time ago. And we tried to put the paneling back on and it just never worked. And so now it looks like freaking junkyard car from the inside. Okay, so see, his harness fits him a lot better. I think it's a large, but I still think that we could go one size up and then give this one to Kane but they're really nice because they have the handle up top. And then you just clip it back here. Right? Although he hates it. He hates being tied down. Don't you? I wanted to share what I've been getting at Starbucks. So I have been trying to watch the sugar in my coffee. So I get a grande iced Americano, sometimes venti, it really doesn't matter. With two pumps of brown sugar and coconut milk. I do two pumps regardless of the size. Um, I think in a grande normally it's four pumps. And then in a venti it's six. So I got it down to two. It's pretty good. I mean it's definitely not, you know, a freaking caramel macchiato. But worth it. Go okay, go. Go okay. Okay, so I I don't even know what the last clip was. Um, we got home from, oh my God, I have no memory. <laughs> uh, we got home, I think, from the dog park. Yeah, we got home from the dog park. I made some tacos and we watched some <laughs> trash TV. We have been watching The Simple Life. We started it last night because Olimar has never seen it and it is the most <laughs> entertaining hilarious show i don't even remember it being that funny back in the day probably because you know the age it aged very well um it is so funny i got a package and i wanted to show you so i have been wanting i, I gotta find my phone but i've been wanting the doc martin sandals it wasn't even like a oh my god i want them but i had seen them a lot let me grab my phone hold on okay so i had seen these I don't know if you can see them. I've been wanting these, and I've seen them a lot. They're super edgy. These are the Hydro Leather Gladiator Sandals for $100. Um, and I saw that Target had some dupes, and I think I got served an ad, and then when I went through, of course they were sold out, because I'm sure that same ad was served to a bunch of people, but I signed up for the notification so that when mine, my size came back in stock, I could grab them, and they came back in stock like, I don't know, like freaking like five in the morning and I immediately ordered them. These I think were $35. So a fraction, they're obviously not real leather. So super similar, right? And I think it'll give me the same look just to see if I even like them because I feel like $100 is a lot and these look like really great quality. I've always had good luck with Target shoes and sandals. Uh, so I'm really excited about these. I'm sure I'll share them on Instagram, maybe tomorrow if it's nice. So, those are my dupes, so go grab them while you can.
normally I would say good morning, but it is like two o'clock in the afternoon. It is Sunday and we spent the morning walking the dogs. We went to the trail that has a really nice creek. We met up with some of our friends who have two other dogs that are also super active. Um, so I think I got some footage on my phone. If you saw it, then I did. As you can see, I am ready. I did my hair, I did my makeup. I haven't curled my hair in so long. I think probably since Florida, which was like six weeks ago or something like that. I am about to film the guest bedroom intro. And I think when Olimar gets back, he went to the pet store. I think he's gonna help me film the rest of the video so I can do like a walkthrough of the room. I'm here right now, so you can probably see a little bit of what's going on. Okay, so filming went really well. A lot of takes. It has been a while since I've done any like true camera work. Like I don't consider this camera work because I'm not thinking of what I'm gonna say constantly. Um, but I think it went well. It was definitely more vlog style. It's not anything like crazy professional, but we did use the Ronin, which was really nice. We got some really smooth shots. Omar helped me get like good uh, panoramic shots of the room and detail shots. So hopefully that video comes out. I don't know. I don't want to promise anything, but hopefully within the week, 10 days maybe. I don't know how much editing I'm going to have to do. It took a lot of clips. We're going to get some Chipotle. And then we're going to meet with the couple that we are shooting their wedding in October. That's our first wedding we will have ever shot. And we got to do some research and figure out the shot list and all of that. I think it's going to be pretty low key and low maintenance. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you only get that situation once. No pressure. I just told all of that it really looks like they threw mine together. I do white rice just because... I like the taste of it and black beans and chicken and then pico corn salsa mild salsa sorry medium salsa lettuce I sat down to edit and look through footage for like hours after we got home but I have to show you these I posted these on my Instagram and holy cow <laughs> they're so good I don't even know like it says original season they taste like parmesan and garlic and Butter, they are so good. Apparently the honey mustard ones are really good too. And I saw the Southwest ones, so I'm probably gonna try those next. And then at Target, which is also where I got the pretzels, I found this Arctic White Alani. I have never tried it. I don't even know what it's, like what is this, what is this flavor? I don't know, but I'm excited. I love Alani's for pre-workouts. And I also showed these on my Instagram, but I wanted to show them to you. They are, I don't even know what they're called to be honest with you. They're Nike Dunks in this beautiful yellow. Aren't they so pretty? I don't know what I'm gonna pair this with. I'm thinking obviously blue, purple, pink, right? I think they're gonna be a really nice pop for fall. Super excited about those. Where's your dad? Where is he? Come on, let's go find him. What are you doing? On. Oh, you're taking those out? The spark plugs took out the so it's okay. This. So the hydraulics on this and the escape haven't worked for years and I thought it would be nice when we have the dogs in the back to open it up. So Olimar's gonna replace them. All right, I had teased the Hot Wheels collection in a previous video, but honestly, this is no joke. I didn't even know we had this many. I think this is <laughs> the most Hot Wheels I've ever seen somebody own. While I am here, it's only right to let you guys know that I did put a deposit down. Well, sort of, I reserved a car. I didn't physically put down a deposit, but I did reserve a car and it's supposed to be here tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna get it tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna sign off tomorrow. I think it still has to be serviced and all of that. Um, it is brand new. It's coming from the factory and then it's gonna be at the dealership tomorrow. So at some point next week, hopefully I have a new car. So leave a comment below 
guessing which car you think that I got. Now, I remember I was going back and forth between the cars. If you saw last weekend's vlog, you saw that I went to a couple of Kia dealerships because I thought that's what I wanted. And then I was going back and forth with BMW. So I did. I did reserve a car and I'm really excited. All right, I'm gonna sneak peek the car. Is it this color? Is it this trim? Is it this car? I don't know. Stay tuned. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and close out the video here. I know this was a short one. I know there wasn't a ton going on, but honestly, we haven't been doing a lot. We've been at home a lot of the time and I spent most of the day today filming the guest bedroom makeover video, which took a lot. Hopefully next weekend's vlog is a little bit more exciting. Hopefully I have my car by then and I can tell you all about it. But for now, I'm gonna cut this one short and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.